the question you're asking is, is it possible to make an ayahuasca tea that's potent and the same every time you make it? That's called standardized extracts. And the answer is yes, but it's taken a long time to figure out how to do it. And the first thing was to collect samples of ayahuasca tea from multiple ceremonies in South America and North America and find out uh, what the alkaloid, what alkaloids like dimethyltryptamine and harmine alkaloids were in the tea so I could figure out what's in this. Or, and then the other thing about it is that there's so many more molecules in ayahuasca than just the ones that we know about having psychoactive effects. So I said about, I want to study ayahuasca. It's possible to make a tea that's the same every time. And people often ask me, well, why not just mix dimethyltryptamine DMT with harmine? You can buy these from chemical ca catalogs if you have the right license and mix them up. And, and people call that pharmawasca. My answer to that is I'm sure somebody will do that. That's how pharmaceutical development happens in the West. A single molecule is plucked out of a plant, and then usually what happens is they turn out to be very toxic. So whole plant medicine is why standardizing ayahuasca tea for helping people with PTSD and depression is the way to go. I think that's my way to go. So it's taken a long time, and now I have approval, and now, um, because of um, uh, work with them, that I'm doing uh, help that I'm getting from MAPS, the organization MAPS, is they are now our fiscal sponsor and we have to raise about $2, two million dollars to be able to prepare for the trial that will happen in Seattle, Washington.